Find Lift has a friendly familiar user interface. In the program we can find all the classic CAD commands, but also the commands that are needed to make our projects very easy and fast. In this video we will see how to calculate and design a typical elevator of a building. The same procedure and method can be done with any type of building regardless its size and type. First of all, a new project is created by giving its name. When we create a new project a folder with the BLD format is created, and inside that folder, the DWG format drawing is placed. The folder and the drawing share the same name of the project. The first step is to proceed with the calculations. Fine Lift is the only fine map program that we make the calculations first and then the drawing. In the calculator program, project info window, includes the project headings that will be printed on the cover page. In the building traffic analysis window, the user can select some basic data, with the help of drop-down menus, and of some tables. The calculations for the traffic analysis are based on the transportation system in buildings, SIBS Guide D2010. Some of the basic parameters that must be filled in are, number of floors, number of lifts, distance between terminal floors, maximum car area, time for opening and closing the door, speed of the elevator, etc. When the user selects all those parameters, the quality of service based on interval and performance time will be calculated. When the fields in data window have been filled in, the results are shown in the results window. In the general project data, the basic parameters of the elevator will be filled in. The user can select between electric, hydraulic, simple or MRL lift. The kind of lift can be chosen from passenger, hospitals, vehicles, or goods. Some more data about the car mass and area must be filled. At last the user can choose between the EN811 and 8120 calculation method. In the next tab, the technical characteristics of the lift will be imported. In the last tab we can select the number of RAMs and also what calculations we want to see on the printouts. On the calculations tab we can see all the results for the lift and select among the predefined values or select some desirable values for the accessories of the lift. On the window that opens, the values with the red color are calculated by the program. The red color does not indicate something wrong. If we want to select desirable wire rope diameter, on the specific cell, select the three dots, and from the table that will open the user can select the specified value, all the calculations will take place with the new value the user defined. As shown on the respective dialog, the following data must be completed for the calculation of the RAM, the cylinder, and the supply pipe. If no RAM is calculated it means that either the selected manufacturer does not have the selected material of the RAM, so you have to choose a different manufacturer or RAM material, or no RAM of the selected manufacturer is sufficient. In the power unit calculations, the following data have to be completed for the selection of the pump and the motor. You can choose a pump from the pumps library, which has an equal or greater flow rate from the minimum required pump flow rate calculated by the program. The motor selected must have an equal or greater nominal power from the minimum required rated power calculated by the program. In the dialog screen guide rails we must fill the following data for the calculation of the guide rails. By pressing the button, guide rails, the following screen appears, which shows the calculated values and the maximum acceptable ones. In the calculations buffer, the program automatically calculates the following fields in red color and the user must choose the desirable buffer type, from the drop-down menu. From the Windows tab the basic printouts can be seen.
The printouts can be linked to Word, PDF, or exported to RTF. After that we need to save and close the calculations. On the drawing select lift drawing, the following window appears on screen. The drawing processor generates the drawings which are necessary for the completion of the study in relation to the calculation results. All the parameters can be modified and the drawing can be generated automatically. After the definition of the parameters select the X button and the drawing will open on a new DWG file. 